Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Shaw. Today's February 5th, 2024, and I got this last night at 1124. Um, we thank you for your message, Father. We thank you for preparing us for the things that are coming and all that's going to happen, Father. So we thank you for giving us a heads up about everything. I have been preparing you for this time frame for quite some time now. You've been sitting around waiting for things to collapse and not knowing when has not been your friend. Better you prepare and wonder when rather than be caught off guard like being attacked by some mob. 124 is truly here and it will appear and you will know I have spoken as many are woken and even stoken. The change that will be forever through this harsh endeavor and none of you will ever forget and you will have no regret for you will know that I used it for my glory. It's my story of life and death and death and life as you are molded into my wife. Take a good look around. You're all going to frown when it all falls apart as evil is being thwart. Use everything you have to fight off those who may starve because they did not prepare for this kind of devastation during this duration. Use mercy and compassion during this time of America's evolution as she changes from death to life during this darkest night. Hold on tight. Do not be in fright. Help your neighbor come to me tonight as you sit and watch evil take the fright as the dawning brings its light. You are mine and I am yours. Love, Yeshua. If you listen to the words of that, he's telling us that um, people are going to not have food and we have to do everything we can to um, keep safe from the evil and what they want to do. It's a collapse. It's a, it, we're, we're in it, but it's not going to get better, obviously. It's going to be a rough time. He keeps mentioning to us. Why does he keep telling us over and over and over again for such a long time? It seems like, well, let it happen already, Father. Let it happen. Because we must be prepared. He doesn't want to just dump it in our lap. What we're going to be going through. I have been praying, all right, for him to show me again. I've seen things, all right? I was by um, a main store one day, and the Lord said to me, this is, this is going to change forever. Things are going to change forever. Stores are going to go under and they're never going to come back again. America is going to become one big friend in its own way because there's going to be healing that takes place during this time frame. Our focus is not going to be on Democrats, Republicans, blacks, whites. We're not going to care. We're going to be working on being prepared because things are going to go down that bad. We have no idea, those my age, I've not been through the Depression in 1929, but those that are older and that are still alive here know what it was like. The bread lines and everything. Nobody getting the funds that they need. We don't even know. People on Social Security, food stamps, people are on, is that going to be stopped during this time frame? What's everybody going to do? I mean, God has his hand on our lives. We have to trust him with it. And we're praying for America to come back to him. So I'm going to pray this prayer before I get off today because we're supposed to pray it every day. This should be being sent everywhere, this prayer. I'm going to try to get it out, just the prayer itself. I talked with Gary about it. Just I'm going to send it out so people can start to pray it. I got this on my birthday, January 4th. And... um the Lord is telling us to pray this every day till we get the White House back. And then we're supposed to start being thankful and rejoicing and praising him for what he's done for us because he's partly going to intervene in this. He's going to use the situation and everything we're going through. But I've seen, I've had dreams. I haven't had any lately. I told the Father, give me something more recent that I could share with the people so that they have an understanding because you want to feel, I want to feel what it's going to feel like to be in that situation. So you have a heads up and I've been, I've been feeling, I've been feeling the oppressiveness of it in my life. It's just there. All right. We're in it. It's happening. 
and we must be prepared for it in, in any way that we can. Get extra food, whatever you can do. Get some canned hash or whatever. Just have stuff that you can eat. We'll just be thankful for whatever we can eat. Peanut butter and jelly. Praise the Lord. So, Father, this is the prayer you told us to pray. Father, we beseech you to intervene against all the enemy's schemes and to stop evil from having the power in the White House. Please help us, Father, to keep evil quiet as a mouse and remove those who would seek to destroy our country with their evil false good and plenty and give us back truth, honesty, and faith. We are tired of evil's face. We use your name, Lord, so we cannot be ignored. Remember what those words say. And may the power and the fire of God destroy all the mobs and let freedom's bell ring so we can all once again sing. Thank you, Father, Son, and Spirit. May evil hear it in the name of Yeshua. This is a prayer being sent up to the Father by all of us. The enemy hears it. It's said in the name of Jesus with the power and the fire of God behind it. Trust me when I tell you, when you join forces, one mind and one accord, things happen. When we were in Spice with Texas, we pulled down strongholds that day. Absolutely positively, because things changed up after that moment in time. And things will change up as we get this prayer going and we one mind and one accord. This is not for just our group. This is for every Christian that's out there and every person that wants America to come back to God and, 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 and be rid of the regime that's in there that is not listening to the spirit because they're listening to demons. So, Father, we thank you. We rebuke evil in Jesus Yeshua's name. And I'll be back when he sends me back again. And have a blessed day.